good morning students now we are going to continue conservation of plants and animals in this chapter now we will read about some important terms first is poaching poaching means hunting it is the illegal hunting done across the world to capture or kill animals for commercial purposes many animals are killed for their body parts and it is known as poaching such as tigers rhinoceros elephants leopards whales crocodiles seals foxes rabbits and many other animals are there who are hunted down for their skins furs bones tusks or horns claws meat and other body parts so it has led to extinction of cheetah from indian jungles cheetah is now extinct from india due to poaching similarly a mauritius bird called dodo is now extinct due to poaching because the human being killed them for their personal use for their commercial use and in this way they are becoming extinct second pollution biodiversity is adversely affected by pollution of land water and air many animals get killed by this pollution and mainly the aquatic animals are affected fish and other animals are killed due to accumulation of pesticides and other harmful chemicals accumulated in water bodies pesticides are the chemicals which are used to kill the pests pest means small animals which destroy the crops and there the pesticides are used in the soil soil but when the rain comes these pesticides run off to the aquatic bodies nearby aquatic bodies and these chemicals make the natural habitats of these animals inhabitable that means they are they are it become unfit for their survival so another major cause of loss of aquatic species is oil spillage from drilling rigs or from an oil tanker on land or leakage of petroleum from a vehicle oil get leaked in water bodies by the tanks and it get mixes with water and due to this many animals get killed in water and in water bodies and third is natural disaster natural disasters such as earthquake floods cyclones tsunamis hurricanes and droughts also led to loss of biodiversity in the affected area when this natural disaster comes it can kill many animals and also destroy the plants of that region do you know in a severe flood in 2012 kajiranga national park lost approximately 600 animals including elephants and rhinoceros so they get also affected due to this natural disaster then flora and fauna the biodiversity of a place is formed by the flora and fauna of that region 
In simple words, we can say flora means plants and fauna means animals. Flora, plants of a particular region, habitat or geographical period. And fauna, animals, animals of a particular region, habitat or geographical period. So we need to conserve the biodiversity of our earth. Each component is dependent on another for survival. To maintain life on this earth, the biodiversity has to be conserved and protected because all are interdependent on each other. So we have to conserve it. Conservation of biodiversity it ensures availability of useful resources, that means flora and fauna, for future generation. Biodiversity conservation is also important to maintain the ecological balance in the nature. That means the balance can be maintained if we protect the flora and fauna of that particular region. For example, if any animal is killed or it become extinct, then it can harm or it can affect all the food chain habit. So many organisms, both governmental and non-governmental, are working towards conservation of biodiversity by designing and leading conservation programs. Many programs are designed by the several organization. It may be governmental or non-governmental. On local, national and international level. And different laws have been formed to protect the existing forest and wildlife. Time to time, Conservation awareness program also being run of large scale to make public aware of different ways and methods in which they can help in conservation of biodiversity. So awareness program to make them aware, to make the people aware, jagruk karna. Logon ko jagruk kiya jata hai, bataya jata hai ki ये कंजर्व करने से या इसे प्रोटेक्ट करने से क्या बेनिफिट है एंड डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर देयर एंड द मेन वन इज इंटरनेशनल यूनियन फॉर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचर एंड नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज आईयूसीएन नाउ इट इज नोन एज डब्ल्यूसीयू वर्ल्ड कंजर्वेशन यूनियन बोथ आर सेम Previously, it was known as IUCN, but now it is known as WCU, World Conservation Union. It studies and assesses the conservation of plants and animals species across the world. And it is maintained in a list. The list is known as Red List or Red Data Book. Red Data Book which is prepared by IUCN for endangered and threatened species. And the main aim of this list is to help conservationists identify the endangered species or soon to be extinct species and promote the conservation practices accordingly. Now this I will explain you for in another video. Come to this activity. Activity is to observe and understand local flora and fauna. That means you have to find out in your own area which types of plants and animals are present. Walk through your school campus and make a list of the plants that are there. Do the same for animals. Now, at present, your school is closed. So, this you can do nearby your home in the surrounding areas. And remember, do not just look for big animals, but the small ones as well. 
you could use a magnifying glass for the insects or other creepy crawly creepy crawly means the animals the organism which can creep and crawl रेंगने वाले जानवर या क्रॉल करने वाले जानवर वो सब का आपको एक लिस्ट तैयार करना है एंड आल्सो इंक्लूड द बर्ड्स एंड एनिमल्स लिविंग ऑन द ट्रीज सो नेम ऑफ प्लांट और एनिमल्स यू हैव टू राइट इन फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड इन सेकंड कॉलम प्लेस ऑफ डिस्कवरी दैट मींस वेयर इट इज प्रेजेंट फॉर एग्जांपल a squirrel could be on top of a tree so you have to write the place of discovery second example if we write the name of other animals for example earthworm earthworm it is present inside the soil in this way you can prepare the list which type of animals are present in your area and where they reside so all that you see in the in this list make up the flora and fauna of your place try to find if these are indigenous to this place or these have been found some place else indigenous means it is only common in your the area or it can find in other area also you will be surprised to see how much the locals know about the flora and fauna of a place so this activity you have to do and send it to me so that we will find out the plants and animals pre present in different areas in different uh, regions